So on the left, I have a repository that I own called Drills. And on the, the right, I have a different account that doesn't own the repository but wants to contribute to it. So it's called Drills. And I'll go to that one over here as well. And so this person wants to contribute it to it. So first, what they got to do is they got to fork the repository. Which means that they'll, they'll copy it from this the owner's repository over here to their repository over here. And then after they do that, let's say they want to make a change. And there's lots of different ways to make changes. But just for instance, we'll do it in the browser here. So they'll go edit this file. Then let's say they want to you know change the margin from 10 pixels to 5 pixels. They can do that. And then they go to the bottom. And they can commit their changes. And they can say changed margin. Now if we go back to the main repository, it'll say this branch is one commit ahead of the master, C or Clayton. So now what they can do is they can create a pull request, which means this person will be notified that somebody else has cloned their repository and made a change and wants the change to be merged. So let's create a new pull request. Let's create it. And it'll add the last commit. And now this person has been notified that somebody has changed the margin and wants a pull request. Now this person's job is completely done. Now it's all up to the owner of the repository to see if they like or don't like your chain. So they can see, you know, your comment and description. So you want to leave a good description. They can see what you did and exactly what the changes were. And they can go, yeah, merge the pull request. And they can go, go confirm merge. And then they'll go, you know, thanks for your contribution. Now this person will be notified that, yeah, they merged it, and you're good to go.